What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Bryant VRM. It has been a crazy week, but we are finally here. We are now on my last Spider Man film review before I see Spider Man No Way Home tonight. And of course, after I see the film, I will give you guys my thoughts on that as soon as I can. But today, we're going to be focusing on the 2019 sequel to Spider Man Homecoming Spider Man Far From Home, directed by John Watts. Let's get started, guys. This story follows the events of Avengers Endgame. The world is honoring the fallen Avengers and trying to adjust to being brought back to life after Thanos snapped them out of existence years prior. Peter mourns the loss of his friend and mentor, Tony Stark, and seeks a break from being Spider-Man and just wants to enjoy his school's trip to Europe and confess his feelings to MJ. Of course, things don't go well. They come across a figure known as Quentin Beck battling creatures made of elements known as the Elementals, and Peter is recruited by Nick Fury to assist Beck, who later refers to himself as Mysterio, to fight the remaining Elementals. But is Mysterio the hero the world and Spider-Man think he is? This film is pretty intense, both visually and emotionally. I did like that we see a different side of Peter in that he just wants a break and attempt to do something normal for a change, which was a complete 180 from the first film where he wanted nonstop action. But granted, it's understandable since a lot has happened since the Homecoming film. The Mysterio fights were, in my opinion, amazing. The graphics and illusions were intense and suspenseful, and I'll admit that even I fell for some of the illusions that were meant to be portrayed as normal reality. The cast did a good job, but some of the performances from the supporting cast were a little dull, and while some of the characters were meant to be comedic, I didn't really find them amusing, and if anything, some of them were a little one-dimensional. I have to compliment Jake Gyllenhaal on his performance as Mysterio. Even though we know he's the villain, I did find his portrayal of the seemingly good guy very convincing before we get the reveal that he's not who he says he is, and I thought he transitioned that very well. I also liked how this movie continued to raise the stakes, even with some surprise endings. Even when it seems that all is well and that the hero has won, we still get a curveball thrown at us. I thought it was very effective in building up the interest to learn what happens next and can't wait to see how that flows into Spider-Man No Way Home. What I did appreciate about this film is how they portrayed how very difficult it would be to maintain a secret hero identity with several of Peter's classmates always questioning where he is and why Spider-Man shows up when he's not around. Most of the emotional aspects of this film deals with Peter trying to move on with his life after Stark passed away and find his place in the world, and he just wants to do something normal without having to worry about whether he's the next Iron Man. Tom Holland's acting was very powerful and really added depth into that performance, especially where near the end of the film, when you can tell where all the stress Peter is facing begins to take a toll. What I really didn't care for about this film, or the MCU's take on Spidey in general, is that they feel the need to have Spider-Man always traveling in one way, shape, or form. He talks about wanting to be just a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, and yet we see him go to Europe a couple of times, to different states, and even to space. I mean, personally, I think this film could have easily taken place in New York with only minor changes to the script. And that would have better reflected the comics since most of Spidey's adventures take place in New York. Don't get me wrong, he did travel in the comics, but at this point in the MCU, we've seen most of Spidey's action happening while traveling, then in his own city. But otherwise, I do recommend you guys check out this film. Again, has a decent story with some great special effects and fight scenes and does a great job of keeping you on your toes and invested in the film. I'm going to give Spider-Man Far From Home an A-. Hey guys, thank you all so much for checking out these Spider-Man film reviews. I hope that you enjoyed them. And if you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And please consider subscribing to my channel if you'd like to stay updated for more of my content if you're enjoying it. We're not done just yet, though. We still have my review for Spider-Man No Way Home coming out. And also, we do have a couple of Spider-Man bonus reviews that I have. I was planning to do those uh, earlier this week, but due to scheduling difficulties, I'm actually going to be doing those starting next week. Thank you all again so much. I hope that you enjoy the bonus reviews coming, and I'll see you next time.